Hey y'all. Hey guys. So, as you can tell by the title, what I'm going to be talking about. But first, I want to start off with saying um, thanks to all the subscribers and all the likes and comments I have gotten so far. I'm really glad I'm able to help you all. And I'm really, really thankful that y'all are helping me through my process. Like, I'm super excited because I didn't think nobody would really watch my videos too much. And to have at least already 200 subscribers... I'm beyond blessed and amazed at that. So thank you guys. Um, don't forget to continue to subscribe if you're new to my channel. Welcome and welcome along with my journey. I just talk about life, things that I have going on personally. And sometimes I record just random videos. Um, that's not about my TTC journey. But usually I talk about TTC lately, which is trying to conceive. Um, I have anovulation, PCOS acne sorry i look like buckwheat <laughs> right now because i twist my hair every night like this for bed so that's what i used to talk about when i first started my youtube channel was my natural hair journey i think i'm four years in now so yeah thank you guys for the subscribing that you have done and now i'll get into the video and today i'm just going to be talking about this ovulation pain that i've been having i finally let the doctor know um I let them know last week, this week, finally after I've been having these pains, or I, don't, I say ovulation pains, but I don't know what they are. I've been having it for a few months. I went back on my little period tracker app. This is what I use, y'all. I use this little period tracker app. Let me pull it up. It kind of kind of looks like this. Go to my front page. Yeah, so this is the app that I use. So I kind of went back and saw that I've been having this little pains for about um, probably a few months when I started actually documenting it. So it might have been a year or so now. But it's very irritating. Like, I don't know if you guys have this. I tried to Google it. I could not find it anywhere. So I finally went to the doctor and told them about it. It always happens. You know, I have a 33-day cycle usually. These pains or feelings always happen around day 19, between day ni cycle day 19 and like 21, because this cycle happened day 21. So I finally told the doctor, I was like, well, the nurse for the doctor, she tells the doctor for me, but I wrote on my portal, and I was like, well, I'm having these little like cramp, cramping type pulling, jabbings, feeling stabs pressure feels like pulling I can't really describe it but that's a blend of how it feels like it's very uncomfortable and sometimes when I go to sit down it feels like pressure or something's like pulling and it's not on the outside it's only up on the inside it's like it's my feels like it's my cervix or something contracting so I told them that and she wrote back and said well I was like well is do you think anything is wrong with me like do I need to get checked or like, should I be concerned? She wrote back and said I shouldn't be concerned. She said it's probably just ovulation pain, which happens sometimes. And she said she didn't seem too concerned about it. <laughs> However, I'm like, uh, I don't like that feeling. And I told her, yeah, I kind of never let y'all know before because I always forget. So I'm actually telling you all now that it's happened before. And it's usually around cycle day 19 through 20 or something like that. So with that being said, I'm pretty sure it is ovulation pain, but it's just really, really uncomfortable. I do not like it. And this time I had it, let me see. Um, so this time I had it the day after the IUI is when I started all this little contracting, pulling jabs up in my vaginal area. It's like all the way up in there. It's not like... It's not my pelvis bone. It's not my sides. It's not like flank pain in the back. It's like literally it feels like it feels like I can feel my cervix contracting or pulling out or just aching. I can feel something. So I'm wondering like is anybody else out there like this? Like I could not find anything on the computer like that. It always says ovulation pains are kind of like, you know, lower belly kind of like fallopian tube area this actually feels like it's coming from the insides of me like 
right where if you would do a cervix check, it feels like it's all the way up in there. It doesn't feel like it's my lower abdomen on the left or right side. However, I think it was on, let me see what side I recorded that pain as. It seemed, I wrote that it was more so the left side, but I don't even remember if that was accurate. I guess maybe so, since that's what I typed in my tracker. Um, but I found that to be really, really weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. Especially when it goes to sitting down and you can't sit down without kind of like squinting your face some. I don't like it. So if you guys have had any problems like that or any feelings like that where it's not as how they describe it on the internet or Dr. Google as we say, please comment down below. Let me know what your doctor told you or anybody else may have told you or how can you kind of, how do you work through it? Because all I do is just breathe. <laughs> I don't take any medicine for it. I'd rather not take medicine for that. But if there's any way like or anything that I can do naturally with my body working out, bending in a certain way just to get rid of it or kind of ease it, please let me know. Or let me know what y'all think it is. Um, but yeah, that's all. I'm just still waiting to see what's going to happen. Now that that's out of the way, no more pain. Today I was really, really nauseated or... Not necessarily nausea, I didn't feel good because I took all of my medicine the day, the morning and night medicine at one time, which was kind of like at 4 or 3 because I didn't feel like doing it late at night and I had forgot to do it that morning. So I took everything at one time and all I had was some mashed potatoes right before that. I came to bed, took a nap, well laid down and I just felt sick. That's another problem I have. I have hypoglycemia. But I don't, I don't understand how that could have happened if I had just ate a little bit of mashed potatoes and a little piece of chicken like an hour before I did, before I laid down. I came to bed and I felt so sick. Like I started shaking. I naturally shake. Like my hands and stuff naturally shake. But I got in bed and I was shaking and sweating. I just felt like I had to like vomit, but I couldn't. I didn't feel like I had to vomit. I didn't feel like I had to like vigorously vomit, but I felt like I had the urge like I would have if I had ate a lot. I think it was from taking that medicine and then my, maybe my sugar was low. As you can see, I have this here. I have a problem with this. I have a problem with this uh, Hershey's bar with almond in it, but I had a row of that so I started to eat that because I was like well my sugar is probably low because I'm used to that happening my sugar drops a lot but they say I don't have anything wrong with me no diabetes it just happens I guess it's my diet they say I should eat more protein more often but I ate a row of that that didn't help so my husband had got home well he had he was already home he woke up from his nap downstairs he took a nap on the couch and um I called him upstairs. I was like, please bring me a cup of orange juice because that usually helps me when my sugar's low. I drank that. It took a while for, for it to help. And by the time I noticed it helped, I had already fell asleep and took a nap because I was feeling so bad. I was so, so tired. And I was trying to avoid taking a nap because I had work the next day. If I have work the next day and I take a nap, usually I'm up all night and I can't sleep. I go to bed at like 1 or 2 and that's terrible. Or either I wake up super early for work. So eventually I lose sleep. But yeah. That's what happened. I feel better now. I woke up. I woke up after that nap. I woke up sick again. So I felt like my sugar was low again. So I went downstairs and ate a little macaroni and cheese I had left from a restaurant. And I was super, super sweating. I told my husband I don't feel good still. I turned the air conditioner on. He was like, you need to like go lay down. I was like, no, I think I really just need to eat. I mean, he was looking at me like, what in the world is wrong with you? But I'm like, something is wrong. I don't feel good. Let me eat. I ate my little macaroni and cheese. And after a while, I started to feel better. So I think it was really because my sugar was low, I guess. Again, I didn't have my monitor. I gave my monitor to my grandmother and grandfather about a year ago. So I don't usually check it. But I kind of just know. So today I had a bad day with that. <laughs> 
I was sweating all day. But yeah, anyways, ovulation pains are gone. If you all had any feelings like that, please let me know. Or if you have any links to anything, let me know. Not that I need to really worry about it too much because I don't need no more stressors in my life. So maybe just tell me to shut up and go with the flow. <laughs> and just call it a natural thing. But um, that's all. If y'all have any topics or anything that y'all want me to ever talk about, just let me know down below. Um, I'm still continually, you know, praying with you all, wishing you all the best luck. Because I know we all got this, you know. We all in it for the win. Baby, that's to everybody. And um, I guess I will talk to y'all later. Don't forget to subscribe, okay? Please. Y'all done a great job. Hopefully, I'm doing a good job keeping you all updated. I'm kind of getting a little bit more comfortable with the camera. Like, right now, I am feeling very comfortable with the camera. I don't like... Like, if you see me in person, I'm really shy. Probably... You'll tell me if you were a subscriber and I'd probably still be really shy. I don't talk a lot. Like behind the camera, I'm kind of camera shy. So I don't talk a lot. But when it's just me and my husband, I talk too much. I guess that's just how I am. But yeah. Um, I guess I'll talk to y'all later. Leave any comments below. Make sure you like my video. Okay. Bye.